One of our viewers named Susan shared that she had familial hypercholesterolemia. She and I made contact and she has several different stories that uh, she'd like to share uh, that I think people need to hear. For example, young women can have heart disease and to ignore it is perilous. So I have on the phone with me Susan Bolton. Susan, you responded to a comment on the uh, YouTube channel and said that you have uh, familial hypercholesterolemia. You and I talked and you had some very interesting stories about uh, how you discovered this back in your 30s. Uh, would you like to uh, share that? Sure. Uh, it was 1980. I was 34 years old. We had been over in the in Wyoming backpacking that summer several times. About Thanksgiving, I, I walked regularly about four miles a day. I About Thanksgiving time, I went out to go for a walk and didn't make it a half a, half a block before I had some real pain in my chest. And I didn't think I was going to make it home. And my dad had just had heart surgery, and I figured it had to be angina. But I'm going, you're a little young for that. So I went to my doctor, and he said, oh, you've got the flu. Come back in a month if you don't feel better. And I'm going, this isn't the flu. So I went back in just a few days and told him I'm having chest pain every time I try to walk. So he sent me to have a, a treadmill angiogram. Is that is that right? Is that they hooked me um, up? Uh, it, a, a treadmill it, test anyway. It's probably a treadmill test. Okay. And so I went and did that and didn't have any angina until they laid me down on the table. Well, I got home and my doctor called me and he said, I did a cholesterol test and your cholesterol is 600. And I'm going, oh boy. And I was 34 years old and two young girls. I didn't expect to live to see my girls grow up. Uh, he sent me to Salt Lake City. I had my first coronary bypasses in uh, March of 81. And they wanted to do five, but they were only able to do three because they said there was nothing to bypass to. There was so much blockage in my heart. So they did the three and just said, we'll see what happens. And at that time, they didn't have uh, uh, the statins. So he gave, they gave me some medicine, and I took that with my meals, and it didn't do much at all. So they had me go on a vegetarian diet. And that didn't do much. So I just went on. I weighed 114 pounds at the time. And I was so uptight about everything, and I started eating to relieve my, my anxiety. And I got very heavy. As you can see, Susan's got several amazing stories to share with us. The first one she's already she just shared on this video, how a young woman can have heart disease and go to the doc and the doc can just totally miss it based on the assumption that young women don't have heart, heart disease. Uh, quite often that assumption works, but not always. And again, that could have been lethal had Susan not come back and said, look, this is a problem. This is heart disease. I want my heart checked. Um, she saved her own life, I'm sure, when she did that. She also has some other stories regarding uh, weight gain, uh, some of the medications that, uh, that she went through, and some of the other uh, challenges that she has successfully uh, dealt with with familial hypercholesterolemia.
She also has some uh, information for us regarding the use or lack of use of genetics. So again, I'm looking forward to sharing other parts of the series on Susan's story. Thank you for your interest.